Let's talk a little bit about what some of the treatment options for psoriasis are. As I mentioned before, there is no cure for psoriasis at this time. Hopefully there will be someday, there isn't now. All of our treatments are designed to control the psoriasis. It's extremely important to see a dermatologist, somebody that specializes in treating skin disease in order to get the best treatment, most, most uh, available treatments for psoriasis. So that's the one, one key point I want, I want to mention. You want to get, go to an expert, a skin disease expert that can treat your psoriasis. So basically, as you see listed, there are four different types of treatments we're going to talk about today. First are the over-the-counter treatments. A lot of these, I have some samples for you here, are things, uh, various moisturizing creams. This is one, uh, Cetaphil. There are a number of others available. Uh, Improve is one. Uh, CeraVe, uh, Eucerin. Lots of these types of moisturizers are designed to keep the scale down, help to improve the skin so it's not as flaky and irritated. And those are things that you can purchase over the counter. There are even some of the tar compounds that are available over the counter. Um, some of the uh, tea gel shampoo, for example, is something used to treat scalp psoriasis. You can use that shampoo on the scalp that, and the tar in the Shampoo helps to reduce the inflammation and take away a lot of the scale. Now topical agents, these are things that are actually applied to the skin and that are prescription that you would get from a physician. And these fall largely in the categories of topical corticosteroids. You may have seen some of these, uh, such as clobetazole or triamcinolone, desinide. There's a number of different generic names, and they go by a lot of different brand names. And they come in sprays, and foams, and creams, and lotions, and ointments. So different vehicles that you can use to put these compounds on the skin and to reduce inflammation in the skin. There are other uh, topical agents that are vitamin D-based. Okay, One that you may have... Uh, used in the past was uh, Dovinex. There's a new uh, calcipatriene that was just recently on the market like that. And there's another one called Vectical. Those are the vitamin D based treatments for psoriasis. Uh, there's also another uh, medication called Tazeratine or t and the trade name is Tazrac. And that medicine is used to help to reduce the thickness of some of the psoriatic plaques. So that's really good for the thick places on the elbows and the knees. These, again, are all things that are applied directly to the skin. So that means that you as a patient are gonna do a lot of work each day putting these medicines on. And if you've got a lot of psoriasis, more than one or two places or three places, that can be a lot of work for you. So. That's when we get into treatments that are more designed to treat the whole body. And that's when we're talking about light therapy and systemic medications, things that you would take by mouth or shots that you would give yourself. Light therapy is something that a lot of people do in the summer by going out in the sun. It's kind of a way to, to have the same ultraviolet light that we can give in a controlled medical environment by going out and sunbathing and suntanning. And a lot of people do this. Of course, a lot of, t and, and I recommend this, although most dermatologists don't recommend going out and sunbathing, laying out in the sun, it is one instance where the, I do recommend it and most dermatologists do, because it's a, a way to uh, treat psoriasis for someone that has a light sensitive psoriasis that will it'll help improve it. We also offer light therapy in the office. Uh, so you would come to a dermatologist's office and stand in a, basically a medical tanning bed for a while. Some people will even go to the tanning bed. And the tanning beds, uh, if someone, for example, lives a long distance from the office and they have access to a tanning bed on the street corner, as most people 
have access to tanning beds on the street corner. That's another, another potential alternative for somebody that has psoriasis and provided that they do it in a controlled manner. Systemic agents. Now these are medicines that people take by mouth or inject into themselves to control the psoriasis. And these are medicines that are designed primarily as anti-inflammatory medications. These are things that you may have heard of methotrexate, uh, cyclosporin, uh, psoriatane is a medicine, or acetretin, it's a retinoid medicine. Again, designed to reduce inflammation in the skin to improve the psoriasis. Other systemic medications are these biologic medications, medicines that are, act differently and they have to be injected into the skin as opposed to being taken by mouth. Okay, so that's what we're talking now about biologic agents. Now, these are used to treat moderate to severe chronic plaque psoriasis. So, so these are people that may have a very wide involvement of their psoriasis on, on the body. So upwards of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent of their body surface area may be covered with psoriasis. So these are for people that have a lot of disease. They may also have other comorbidities. They may have psoriatic arthritis and things like that along with the psoriasis that leads to the need for a medication like this. They work by blocking certain parts of our immune system, blocking some of that overreactivity of the immune system in the skin to reduce the inflammation in the skin. And they're usually given by injection or by intravenous infusion. Some of the names that are listed here are Olefacept or Amaviv, Etanercept or Embril, Adalibumab or Humira, Infliximab or Remicade or Eustachinumab or Stolera. And these are all given uh, in different methods and different time schedules and uh, on, have different side effects depending upon which medicine that you're using there. And this is something that your dermatologist can assess which one is going to be the best for you. Okay. Now, Adalimumab, Abbott, is the sponsor of our program this evening. So we're going to spend a little time talking about Humira, which is Adalimumab's, uh, is Adalimumab, it's the uh, treatment for moderate to severe chronic plaque psoriasis. It's a medicine that is a tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitor. Okay. So we've got a picture here on the next slide, which shows tumor necrosis factor alpha. And tumor necrosis factor alpha is elevated in people who have plaque psoriasis, have too much of this particular molecule in the body. And what Humira does is it binds to this particular tumor necrosis factor uh, alpha uh, protein that's in the system. And by removing that, by removing tumor necrosis factor alpha, it, it overall lowers inflammation in the system. Okay. So it has been shown to help clear psoriasis in a number of, of clinical trials where it's been tested. About 7 out of 10 people that take Humira in these clinical trials end up having 75% clearance of their skin. So someone can go from having a lot of psoriasis to a minimal amount of psoriasis very quickly, within 16 weeks of being on the medicine. And about 6 out of 10 had clear or almost clear skin in this same clinical trial. So that, again, it's an excellent medication, has very, very strong, what we call efficacy, very, very strong effectiveness in treating psoriasis. However, it's something that's not for everyone because there are potential side effects with a medicine like this. And it's something that you would not use in you know, certain patients. So it's definitely something that only your dermatologist should prescribe for you. And as you can see, these are some photographs of individuals that had very, very severe psoriasis. And then this is how they did after being on the medicine and showing their clearance of the skin. So to learn more about the medicine, to learn more about Humira, 
uh, recommend you know going to the website humera.com or calling 1-800-4-HUMERA. There is also a program to support patients on the medicine, uh, and that you can sign up for that at myhumera.com. It also pro provides a lot of information. Uh, you, you related an example of having trouble uh, with one of your injections. This is a place you could go to, on that website and they can get information to you about how to address an issue like that. If you have a side effect that you don't expect from this medication, it's important to report that to the Food and Drug Administration. Remember, these medications have been in use for 10 years, but they haven't been in use for 100 years, so we don't know all the potential effects of these medicines. Sometimes the only way to find that out is actually to report them, and then the FDA can correlate all of the people from all across the country taking this medicine to see if there's a real problem with a medicine like this. Also, it's a something that if you can't afford your medicine, the Humira has, has potential plans to help with your co-pays and also to keep you on medicine if you should lose your insurance, for example. So this in force right now is the Humira Protection Plan. This details some of that information about it. If you are currently employed and you have insurance through your work and that has pharmacy coverage, you can actually get your insurance for $5 a month. You can get your Humira for five bucks a month. Okay, that's a great deal. Uh, if you uh, are currently unemployed or uninsured, you may be able to get the medicine at no cost to you uh, through the patient assistance program. This is something that you would have to initiate through the My Humero and also through your uh, dermatologist to assess the patient assistance program. And then if you are on Medicare Part D uh, and cannot afford some of the medication when you go through the donut hole and some of these things, um, there is an independent uh, copay foundation that can help you with that too. And then of course that's one of these things that you'd have to assess for your eligibility for something like that. And these are all available through the 1-800-4-HUMERA toll-free line.